no class for not watching SpongeBob, but you have joined Andrew and the amazing Brian. That's me right over here. And today we're going to be learning about valence electrons. We're going to take two different elements from the periodic table. The first one is going to be beryllium, which is right here, and then potassium. All right, moving on. All right, so we're starting off with beryllium. We're going to pull that and maximize that. All right, so as you can see, beryllium has four protons, and because it has four protons, you're going to subtract four from nine, and you're going to end up with five neutrons. So, so that. So let's start off by drawing the nucleus, which is right there. And then we're going to have four protons in the center, and five neutrons in the, in the center as well, with the nucleus, in the nucleus. And we're going to keep drawing these electron rings starting off with the first one. Now this first one is always going to have just two. Just two electrons always. Now beryllium is going to have four electrons because it has four protons to balance it. So that means we've already drawn our first two. Drawn our first two right there. So that means we're going to have to draw another ring to fit the other two. So we'll draw that and that. Now with these two being left over, because this ring is not full with eight electrons, it only has two, those are called valence electrons. So beryllium is going to have two valence electrons. Okay, so going on with your work and whatever Mr. Burke tells you to, just remember, don't you don't have to worry about the nucleus at all. Just don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, because if he gives you certain types of worksheets or homework, he just wants what's important, which are the valence electrons. Just He just wants you to know that. All right, moving on to potassium. Okay, now to get rid of this. Whee. Okay, so first off, we're going to take a look at what's inside the nucleus. And we're going to have 19 protons because of this number right here. And then you take 39 minus 19, that's 20. So there's 20 neutrons inside. And for now, we're not going to worry about all that so we're just gonna make this dot represent our nucleus and our diagram our first string can only fit two just like Andrew said and then we just keep on filling up the rings until we have a total of 19 seven eight okay need to add another one now kids you can count with me if you want to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. There we go. You Good really job. need a new hobby. Uh, that's fine. It's pretty fun. And then our last ring will have one on it. That becomes our valence electron. And that's the end of this lesson.